Okay, so my car now has the navigate on autopilot feature, and this is super cool. So the car can actually handle like the the freeway changes and everything now. Um, can even suggest lane changes for me for the trip, and just ask me to double check it. And uh, but yeah, and the map is incredible. It's a full satellite view map. This is just really cool stuff. Um, and so I'm not touching the wheel, okay? Uh, except for every once in a while, the car says touch the wheel just to try to make sure I'm still paying attention, I'm awake. And uh, yeah, I set the speed. You see it right there, it says touch the wheel. I touch the wheel and it clears it, all right? And now uh, I set the speed for 77 miles per hour maximum is what I picked for this particular trip, okay? The car is doing all of this. The car is following the curves of the freeway. The car is watching out for cars around me. And look, it actually shows all the vehicles around me on both sides of me. Doesn't show like every lane of the freeway, but it shows the lanes that are uh, to my left and to my right, all of them. Every once in a while it just says, apply a light touch to the steering wheel, you do, and it clears it off, okay? But this is showing these vehicles. All right, and it shows me there's a car in my blind spot here to the left, and now I can see the car. There we go. And it shows there's a big truck. You see, it shows a semi truck there. Guess what? There's a semi truck. It's showing all of that right there. This is so cool. No other car does stuff like this. This is so amazing. And so, my car is doing all this driving, it's doing it all. And with the new uh, Navigate on Autopilot feature, it can even handle freeway interchanges for me. It's just amazing. I love this car. I love Tesla. I love what this car does. And my car gets better all the time. You know, they talk about things getting better with age. Not normally true of cars. Now, I panicked and hit the brakes there. The car would have done that, but that dude just, that truck ahead of me just dove in front of me like an idiot. Now, if I want to force a lane change, I just hit the turn signal. She makes sure it's clear. If it's clear, she just made that lane change for me. Man, that dude in front of me is an aggressive driver. And that truck, wow. Can't even stay in this lane easily. Anyway, I was starting to say that... They say that things get better with age. It's not normally true with cars, honestly, because cars, they get old, they, they fall apart, they, they develop problems. But this car is basically electric motors and a computer on wheels. So they can improve the car dramatically by just making changes to the software or firmware. For example, one day I go in uh, just for a checkup on some stuff, and they say, hey, you haven't had the, uh, the, the performance upgrade for your vehicle yet. I'm like, what does that do? They said, it makes your car a full second faster, zero to 60. I said, how much does that cost? They said, it's free. I'm like, why are we standing here talking? Let's get it done. So uh, my car is actually faster now than when I got it. It does stuff now that it didn't do when I first got it. Uh, what other car does that? BMWs don't do that. Mercedes doesn't do that. Cadillacs don't do that. Audis don't do that. But Teslas do. And not only do Teslas do that, every single model of Tesla does that. They keep improving. And one of the reasons why the autopilot is getting better and better is because the Tesla company has been storing data regarding the, uh, the autopilot performance of the cars. So it's got cameras and sensors all around the car checking for things all the time. And because it has those things, it's feeding data into some big computer and they're gathering the data so that they can improve 
the autopilot features until uh, within the next few years it's going to be 100% autonomous and um, confirm change to follow route um, yes but there's somebody next to me so it can't change yet and now it can so now that's the car moving over into the carpool lane by itself I'm not touching the wheel it just asked me to confirm the change into the carpool lane to stay on the roof on the route so um, yeah I guess so um, I'm not sure what it was asking me to do there I just barely got this I just left the Tesla dealer and they they did some firmware upgrades to the car to make sure that I would have everything I need to do the navigation on autopilot a lot of people don't even know because a lot of people got the 9.0 software update but didn't get the necessary maps update that's what happened to me and so I'm reading the official company press release um, and I'm saying well there's something missing because I don't have the navigate on autopilot yet so I said please check and whatever she doesn't have yet let's give it to her um, not sure what she oh she wants me to change lanes over there okay and there she goes now that was it, it it the car freaked out a tiny bit uh there we go back in autopilot okay car freaked out a tiny bit because i was late responding to the change in the route and then uh the car decided to then move after i confirmed it and when it did I was kind of late so um, we crossed over we started crossing over on dash lines finished crossing over over uh, solid white lines uh, closing off the exit of the carpool lane so that's why the car told me to take over there's no problem I just hit the uh, the uh, autopilot stem here twice and had her go back into autopilot no big deal and now she's even showing me how many lanes there are going north see she says how many lanes are going north and up there on the sign exact same thing on the sign four lanes going north see the car is learning this stuff and Tesla is making their cars better and better this is why I tell everybody if you're even considering um, now that one is it's saying for me to confirm the change I'm confirming it I'm gonna pay more attention now to this because Apparently, I need to do that a little quicker. But um, so the car and I are working as a team, but the car's really doing the driving. She's just asking me to confirm, do you want to do it this way? Okay, I'll do it your way. And she's doing the driving. She's handling the brakes, she's handling the steering, she's handling acceleration, everything. So, what I was saying before is uh, Tesla keeps making these cars better and better so if you're looking into a car that's anywhere in the same class as a Tesla okay if you're looking at let's say uh, a higher-end Honda or Acura a lower-end BMW then look into the Tesla Model 3 go test drive one uh, see if you're not totally impressed uh, if you're looking into a, a higher-end um, okay, I don't know why she's saying go to the right, but all right, I'll let her go to the right. And um, so if, you, if you're looking into a higher-end BMW or Mercedes, uh, a Tesla's going to outperform it. I mean, there's people spending $150,000 on an M-Class BMW or an AMG Mercedes, and the Tesla will absolutely blow those cars away. You you could spend for a hundred thousand to hundred fifty thousand on a Tesla Model S with ludicrous mode, and you're going to do zero to sixty in two point four seconds. Those those high end Mercedes and BMWs, they're not even close to that. You're lucky if they can do it in five seconds or four. My car, which is not top of the line Tesla, can do it in four. Now see. I don't like being behind this truck so I'm actually oh she's saying to change lanes anyway I was about to say I'm gonna tell her to change lanes because I can I can kind of override it and say I want to go this way um, 
but uh, she decided she liked the idea of moving into that lane anyway. So, anyway, I was just saying the Tesla's going to outperform those cars uh, completely. I mean, BMW makes the i8, which is a $150,000 hybrid gas electric car. Okay. My basically bottom of the line Tesla Model S can outperform that $150,000 car. My, mine costs half of that. So, and, and if I was going to spend $150,000, I'd get a top of the line Tesla with ludicrous mode. Even the Tesla SUV with ludicrous mode can do 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds. Now you compare that to other cars in the performance class, okay? And let's say other cars that can do zero to 60 in 2.4 seconds, you're not doing that in any other car unless you're spending over a million dollars. The McLaren P1 can do it. That's a one and a half, two million dollar supercar. The Bugattis can do it. They're five million dollar cars. So if you're gonna talk about the performance class, the Tesla is a steal. It's super reasonable. And then you're saving money on gas, you're saving money on oil changes, you're saving money on, on uh, transmission service because there is no transmission. You're saving money even on brakes because you don't have to do a brake job until more than 200,000 miles because the car primarily uses regenerative braking to slow down so you use very little of the actual brake pads so anyway and just look what this car is doing what of those cars can do this self-driving picking the route suggesting lane changes performing the lane lane changes changing freeways everything it's amazing those other cars they're, they're not in the same class. They're in the same price class. Some of those other ones that are much more expensive are in the same performance class, and this car is a better deal. And it saves you money in the long run, and you got no exhaust, no noise. You feel good about it. You enjoy nature. If I, if I drive down the Pacific Coast Highway out here in California and enjoy the ocean, I open up the sunroof, and uh, my car is not making any noise. It's not making any pollution. I smell the ocean air. There's no exhaust. There's no noise. I can hear the wind. I can hear birds. I can hear animals. It's just absolutely delightful. So really, you owe it to yourself. Get a Tesla. Use my link. You'll get some uh, special benefits from it. Take care, guys. Signing out.